In this class, we'll learn about the main concepts for printing created designs. Let's also study the print size assistant commands. To help define the standard paper size settings. We'll also learn a little bit about web and printing rendering. So let's get to the class. After performing all the processes for building and adding the finishing touches to the digital mock up, let's prepare it for publishing. We recommend using the existing basic formats for publishing images in the Internet and print size assistant command for printing. This tool, as the name describes, is an assistant or wizard for printing sizes. Let's enable A3 in paper size and define the paper direction as landscape. See how after changing the data in the fields, the file size is automatically updated without any zipping. In the DPI field, define the image resolution. Let's type 300 as this is enough for good definition. Save the image automatically by pressing the Save button. Select the place and then in Render it produces the final image. However, for teaching purposes, let's see how the Render Setup works for this setting. We can see the file is 4960 pixels wide and 3507 pixels high. We can change these values and keep the same number of DPI as created previously. You just need to disable the Image Aspect field. This field defines the dimension proportions based on the input value. After changing these values, let's select a target for the new field, like this. Select the camera view and click Render. We must not forget the following factors when rendering the design. The number of objects in the scene, lighting effects and textures affect the size of the final image. So some details, for example, such as special effects from lenses, must be applied by specific editing softwares on static images as well as on animations. One of the solutions to save rendering time is creating internal scenes. 3D models separated from external scenes the same way we applied them in this course. This prevents processing and rendering unnecessary objects which are not displayed in the final image, whether they be internal or external. Moving around the internal and external scene, we should model all in a single file. However, a powerful and good computer is required, as this requires high performance. Regarding rendering images for web publishing, we should apply the pre-existing system settings as custom 800 by 600. So in this class, we study different ways to render an architectural design for printing or web publishing. So now you are capable of designing mock-ups for your professional needs effectively and easily. This knowledge is also the beginning of the next steps in the process of creating digital mockups, which consist of creating and applying materials, lighting setups, photometric or not, and advanced rendering. We'll study this shortly.